Shinoki! It's making these things stronger! I think we can get through here. <laughs> Going for more loot, huh? I saw a forge back at Freyer's camp. Has Brock been helping them out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Lunda yet. Who's Lunda? An old contemporary of the Huldra brothers. She serves as Freyer's blacksmith, keeping his teeth... ...armed and outfitted. Whoa, another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... Friendly. <laughs> oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what? This excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hilda Zvini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a Light Elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. He's okay. Whoa! 
Behind you! Incoming! <laughs> told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. <gasps> Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess.
I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. They're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Ah! Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill him. That's nice.
See that? I didn't know they could do that. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Hmm. Fitting. Again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. <laughs>
wall. When I bring it down, we strike. Yep. Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes.
Last one! That puts them down to Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers. <laughs> Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say.
She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Still up there. Another ambush? Really? Not trying to charm. They are not smart. I understand. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine... Remember our agreement. <gasps> prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward.
A wyvern! Nasty beast! Careful! Oh. 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 Behind you! Look out! Cold. Is this? It's from Helheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Walking straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from. Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it.
Here goes nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. Way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Perhaps Freya will know. So, in essence, they just gave us the keys of Dusk Till Dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Feeney and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Look out! one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhryar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. Oh! <laughs> 
like the egros. So, we report back to Hildesfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for masterpieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. You want to kill us? No, no. <laughs> Only the Carnaptious ones. Wrinkly mud belongs to Helka. She's a blowfinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Andreas. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Your blade! Give me! I can That's upgrade him. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Oh, hi! Hey, your little one. Well, he. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. Y'all change the ding dang time of day? Okay, well, that's impressive. Still owe me the story of who made these things. And Lady Freya? Be 
it fits. Kane's legacy, as poisonous as the man himself. gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einar Yar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Big Fear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother. In the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat.
Careful, brother! You're covered in body fraud! They've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. <laughs> our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. Oh! Oh! Ah! 
said you killed Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, Amir. What? The most annoying man alive. On your mark. Oh! <laughs> 
Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. That's the Alpha. Tough fight. Oh! 
Whoa. We have a shield! Whoa. 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 